So I finished a new update to Fair 1.10, and there's a it's not a big update, but there's a couple of really nice features. Uh, the first one that I added in is vertex color gradients. So instead of just having the solid color that you're used to, we can now do uh, a full gradient across the, the range of the object. So you can see here, I've got it at an angle and this particular type of gradient. I can rotate this around and get it going different ways. So you can do some cool things like have uh, some sort of like maybe a lava glow at the bottom or even just plunging into darkness, you know, uh, a little bit of extra flavor and lighting that goes into your scene. Uh, I've also got uh, distance gradients. Um, and you can see here, I've actually got a couple of other objects using distance gradients right now. And it does this beautiful kind of fade to black sort of thing. And again, you can get creative with it. But it's a, it's a nice way to add some atmosphere to your environment. Uh, and you can see this is uh, based off a of distance. So like as this gets larger, that shows up more and more inside of there. And yeah, you can do some crazy stuff with the gradients too. This is completely Unity's gradient system. Um, however, uh, if you are doing complicated gradients, I do recommend, so um, this, because it's vertex based, this does rely on the underlying mesh. And so if you're doing a detailed gradient, you want a detailed mesh, because uh, otherwise it's not gonna show up too well. And you can see, you know, changing that up. Great big vertices spaced out all over the place. You're not going to get as good a detail. So it's like a trade-off, you know, how much, how many vertices do you want to have versus how detailed do you want your gradient? Um, there's also uh, another one which, oh gosh, nope, nope, that's not the one I wanted. Um, yeah, back here. So there's also, if I go to preserve vertex color, so this is if you have some sort of uh, vertex painting tool and you want to uh, store your changes and make sure that they don't change as you're updating the mesh. You can see here it keeps that original shape in it. Does some weird things around the edges but overall it preserves the original vertex colors that were on the mesh to begin with. So if you're painting some like mesh blending or texture blending stuff all that information will stay when you're using this mode um, instead of getting just rebuilt procedurally with everything else. So those are pretty nice. Uh, the other thing that I've added was uh, multi-selection editing. Uh, this works only in the inspector, not in the scene view, but that can be pretty handy if you're doing editing across, like, so I've got this one and this one selected, so I can just change them both at the same time. So if you're doing large edits across lots of different objects, um, this can be pretty handy, you know, um, do, 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 all that fun stuff. So that's good. It's a nice improvement. Um, the other thing that I added, and like I said, this isn't a huge uh, update, so I... Uh, this is the majority of it, was I added in a, a collection of vertex lighting shaders. So um, instead of the pixel lights that I had before, these ones are a lot more performant and take advantage of that splitting that goes on inside of the meshes. So I'm going to switch over the shaders here to um, vertex lit. Uh, this one's transparent. This is the fill, fetch, vertex lit, and same with background. And I, I did go through and rename all the shaders just because there were starting to be a lot of them. There's a wavy version here. But it should be a lot easier to find the particular one that you're looking for. And then I have a bunch of lights. So. The, the great thing about these ones that are different from the normal ones, they're pretty fast, uh, but they also don't take into consideration uh, the normals. So if I go behind or in front, it's still going to get lit just fine. And this is m far more appropriate for two dimensions. Um, and like I said, this is way faster than the pixel shader, so this should work just fine on mobile. Um, it'll look good if you have the, the vertex count turned up. and and Again, this is a vertex dependent thing, so it won't work very well if you don't have those extra verts 
from the split fill mesh. So make sure you've turned that on when you're doing the vertex lighting. But it's a, it's a nice way. All right, so I hope you enjoy the update. Uh, let me know if you have any extra ideas and uh, have fun.